Hi, thank you so much for your time and consideration. I would really love to work at East Grand Rapids High School. I believe your mission statement is something I completely align with, especially the outreach and having a strong relationship with the community. If we educate our students well and hold them to high standards and policies, our community will be strong and continue to grow and be stronger and stronger as we continue to uh, keep our students to such high and strict standards. My teaching philosophy has the idea that we need to assess our students in many ways and check the learning in many different ways. I myself had to get over test anxiety in college, so I understand the idea of sitting down and taking a test and that being the only thing that your grade relies on is very difficult. So we need to improve things we're weak on, but also highlight what they're good on. If they're great at being creative, making posters, speaking in public, make sure that those things are highlighted. That leads to uh, my next point and my philosophy of praising the positives, not just sitting and talking about what they can't do, but what can they do and how great it is. This is not only great for promoting the positive behavior, but it works as such a great classroom management for me. I'm able to not only congratulate kids that are doing well, but also give an incentive to those kids that are having a harder time as to what, when they do well, I take notice and they wanna to work towards getting that recognition for hard work. And it's not just getting the A, it's the growth and the change and learning more. Finally, for my uh, teaching philosophy, I have uh, to inform students of the content in a manageable way and in multiple ways. Uh, this week, for instance, I did the scientific method. First, we did notes, and today we did a simple lab that had them walk through the steps and then look back at the lab and look at that question they asked and the hypothesis they made. I became a teacher when my little brother decided to drop out of high school his senior year. I really saw after that the effect that not having a high school diploma played on his professional career and his lack of job abilities. Um, an advancement. He couldn't really get many jobs. He couldn't advance far into any of those. And the biggest thing was his self-esteem with not having a high school diploma. It always loomed over him. Um, the skills I have that make me a great teacher are my interpersonal skills. I think it's so important that we get to know our kids as more than just a grade in the grade book. Uh, I get to know their names. I try to, within the first two weeks, know all my students' names. Get to know them, what their likes, dislikes, and it not only makes them feel more comfortable with me, it makes my classroom, man it's also a classroom management. If they feel they're respected by me, they tend to want to strive to do better. I respect them, they respect me. Another thing that I, um, is looking young actually, I look younger and at first I thought it was such a disadvantage, people say I look like a student, but it's actually been great. Kids are able to talk to me about things, problems they have outside of the classroom and I think that's so important to have someone that students feel comfortable with talking about um, personal problems. And what I hope to develop in students as far as their characteristics is their pride in their education. I want them to be proud when they leave the room and learn something new. I always been telling them, you're so smart, you learn that, you got it, you're good. And I love seeing that, that aha moment and that switch that turns on when they've got it. It's wonderful. And also to advocate for themselves. Whether that is raising your hand and saying, I don't understand, or coming up to me and saying, what you just said makes no sense, any some, something, so that they are able to say, stop, pause, no, I didn't get it, and able to have that ability to speak up for themselves. This is their education. It is so important that students take it with a lot of pride. Thank you so much again for your time and consideration. I hope I get to hear more from you. I'm Jill Janotsky. Bye.